Hey y'all, Anya here from Anya's Reviews. Today we're talking about the Groundies Bella Barefoot Ballet Flat. Groundies Barefoot Wear is a German barefoot shoe brand. They make a wide range of casual and dressy shoes for men and women. They have some of my favorite stylish alternatives to popular shoe trends. Like these are the Liverpool, which I wear as a Timberlands dupe. This is the Groundies Universe, which is a great Adidas Stan alternative. And I also have these Odessa boots, which are a great stylish slouchy boot. Groundies also has a lot of vegan options that are still stylish, such as these Sydney sneakers. They've got an imitation leather, which is still wipeable and easier to keep clean than canvas, but it's 100% vegan. Groundies offers two different outsole types to their shoes. One is the GS1, which you can see on the Universe. It's a walled sole. It looks thick, but it's actually thin on the inside. And it is nice and flexible, but it's not quite as flexible as their other sole, which is the True Sense sole. This is the sole that's on the Bella Flats, and it is extremely flexible and responsive. The Bella Barefoot Ballet Flat is 109 euros at full price. At the time of this video, it's on sale for their summer sale for 88 euros, which is about $104. It has a four millimeter thick sole. So this is one of the thinnest barefoot ballet flats out there. You also get real ground fill in these because of how thin and flexible the sole is. You can feel every bump underfoot, which is actually a good thing because it gets your muscles moving. The toe box is nice and wide and the shoes are very lightweight. In fact, they're one of the most lightweight flats that I've ever tried. I wear a size 36 in the Bella, which is typical for me. I usually size down in ballet flats because of how open they are. I have narrow ankles and heels, and I don't like to slip out of my shoes. In the other groundy shoes that I own, I have a size 37 in all of them. Boots and sneakers, I usually wear a size 37. So for the most part, these run true to size. However, a lot of people have found that the opening on the Bella flat is very loose and a lot of people are slipping. One thing you can do to counteract that is to put a heel cushion right on the inside or some moleskin, which can help keep your heel in place. I have not needed that. Uh, they are loose and if I am doing much more than walking, then they feel like they might fall off. But when I'm just walking casually, they stay on me fairly well. I had two additional testers who helped me review these Bella Barefoot Ballet Flats. Samantha, who picked the lovely rose gold, she got her usual size 38 with groundies. They fit her wide width, but she needs a heel grip in the back. With the heel grip, they are working well for her. And since Samantha has an extra wide forefoot, that's saying something. A lot of the ballet flats that she's tried have been too tight in the toe box for her. My other tester, Shay, has narrow feet, and she's having an even harder time with the flopping. She loves how lightweight they are, but they don't want to stay on her feet. The Bella comes in a taupe, white, brown, navy, black, and rose gold. So they work well as a wedding or a fancy occasion shoe, or even as a work shoe. I have here all of the Barefoot Ballet Flat brands that I have in a row, organized from the narrowest toe box all the way up to the widest toe box. And the Groundies Bella is right here. It is on the wider range, so it has a pretty good toe box shape. You can also see when you look down how wide that back part of the shoe is compared to these others that fit a little closer around the ankle. At the end of the video, I will share a photo that will have the brands labeled for all of these so that you can figure out which is which. And also at onnewsreviews.com, I have a full list of barefoot ballet flats where you can get more information about all of them too. Despite the fact that the opening is fairly loose, I am enjoying mine quite a lot. And as long as I don't plan on breakdancing in them or jogging in them, then they're working well for my needs. If you have narrow heels, I would be careful and maybe consider one of the other ballet flat options. But if you have wide feet through the entire length of the foot, the Bella is a good choice.